Oh hi, and welcome to another episode of Game Creation. So, uh, as I explained yesterday, we're going to be looking at loops this week. Uh, and loops are an interesting thing, because in programming, loops are one of the fundamental things that you need to know. Um, the, we've talked about alterable values, or basically variables, before uh, last week. And they are fundamental for any programming language. Loops are also. Now loops, what they mean is just you're going to do something a lot of times, and that's it. And actually, we'll start today's video with talking about a way of doing loops without using click team's built-in function for doing it. It's not as good, but it helps us understand what it is that click team's function actually does. So let's get started. So let's go to the screen. Okay, what I've done is I've started a new um, um, uh, application for this. I'm not going to use the... Um, one we started last week until uh, next week, oh, sorry, until tomorrow. Um, so it just gives us a bit more freedom to do lots of stuff. So I've double clicked anywhere there to create a new object and we'll call it counter. And I'm just gonna make it a bit bigger so we can see it. I'm gonna go to the event editor. And what I'm gonna say is uh, compare value if it is lower than 10, add one to the counter. So we've got a counter here in our frame editor, and we've said to, to click to infusion, well, every time you're less than 10, every time you're less than 10, we're going to add one to you. Let's just run it. And voila. We're there. Now what you noticed is that it didn't just go straight to 10. Now I have no idea what the FPSs are with YouTube, um, but looking at it live, it just it took a little bit of time to get there. And that's because, yes, it does it instantly, but instantly in computer world doesn't necessarily mean instantly because computers take a little bit of time to do stuff. Uh, and then we've added one counter each time. Brilliant. And that's a loop. That's exactly what a loop is, doing something a number of times. Now, the beauty of this loop is if I wanted this action to be done 20 times, oops, there we are, it's done 20 times. If I want it to be done, I don't know, 2,000 times, it can be done 2,000 times. And you notice how slow Kick Team is. In fact, I've put the counter a little bit too far to the left there so you're not going to see it but click team doesn't work stuff out instantly now um, the reason for that is basically you imagine a line going down from the top down to the bottom kind of a, 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 in computer programming it's like procedural it means that we do one and then two and then three and then four um, when click team does that it moves down and it works from top to bottom and does everything and that's not perfectly precise because there are some times where it jumps a little bit, but we're not going to go into that. So it starts at the top and the load's going down. But at the end of load, it then worries about all the stuff Click Team needs to worry about. You know, is the browser changed? Has anything else occurred? Has the is the user closing it down? Is the developer looking at alterable values or whatever it is? Um, that's uh, a simplification, but there's other stuff. So this other stuff takes a bit of time and then it goes to the top and then it goes down again. Now, what we want is something that um, works a little bit quicker. Now, I have no idea. I've never tried this as a kind of speed test, but if I if I set this to 100 and then just see how long it takes, I could run a script, but roughly. So that's about one and three quarter seconds, something like that. Now let's try it with Click Team's built-in function, fast loops. Now fast loops are just a way of doing this, but with having a nice cool name to it. Uh, so let's go back to the frame editor and let's um, duplicate this. Uh, now we've got to be careful actually not duplicate. Clone, when you clone an object, it means it's going to br make a brand new one. When you duplicate an object, it means that basically we're gonna make exactly the same object. So if you look, they're both counters. So if I if I put this below and I click run, you'll see that they they're both counting. So when in the event editor it says add one to counter, 
there's only one counter it's just happens twice what I want to do is I want to clone object to make a brand new object you see there's now counter 2 this is now called counter 2 if I run that won't be adding on because it's a brand new counter and what I'm going to say is at start of frame always a good place to start start of frame what I want to do is run fast loops and I want to start loop add to counter there's the camel case I think I don't know whether you need I think you can leave spaces there actually in click team but I never do because you don't in programming I'm going to do it 100 times okay now we've started a loop there okay so I went to fast loops start loop okay and we called it add to counter so that we can refer to it and really what I should have done is copied that so you should never try and type it in from memory because your memory is never perfect and your spelling is never perfect so if you misspell it it's not a problem as long as you copy somewhere else that you've used it before but you might be thinking okay so it's doing that add to counter thing a hundred times but how the heck do we interact with that well we just new condition right click or left click special on loop that simple paste it in done how easy is that so start that loop a hundred times but on that loop what I want to do is add one to counter I've just left click to copy that let's have a look let's see which one's quicker wow <laughs> it's not even close and as I said that's because with this one it's waiting for click team it's it's going through the cycles just imagine a pointer at the top moving down the code taking a little bit of time and then going back to the top and moving down the code with this I'm saying at the start of the frame I want this now I want this a hundred times which is done let's expand this let's do this 2,000 times remember I'm not setting the counter to 2,000 I'm going through the loop 2,000 times Wow instant just does it it's because it's doing it when that count when that kind of pointer moves down here it's doing it before it even gets to the bottom and then has to hang around for a little bit and go to the top so that's why fast loops are so much quicker than the alternative methods now I'm sure there's some people um, who are watching this will say oh actually this is a, a, a just as good a way of doing fast loops um, please do please let me know as always so that's ba the basics of loops um, and yeah I think that that will that will give us enough information to go on to our next video and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow thank you very much for watching this video if you want to see more from us please click subscribe we release videos every single weekday at 7 p.m. UK time thank you